you say about the future of Philadelphia boxing in the way of throwing with Danny Kirk? Oh, thanks, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Philadelphia boxing in the way with Danny Kirk? is in excellent shape. Excellent shape. Not only with Danny, as with Jesse Hart. Because he's a crowd pleaser. Right. You see that. Mm -hmm. And, and you got many ultimate fighting, many, many, no, no, you got two guns. You, Steve have, you have Steve, Steve Cunningham. Ryan James. But Steve Cunningham is not like actually young, young, but they, they keep the, the, the cut on the, the cut on hot until the younger guys, not any amateurs, but the guys right there now, right. is ready to make a breakthrough. So it's it's guys that you cover right now right. that's ready to make that move out. It's ready to make that move out from Johan's gym, from Buster Custom gym in West Philly, from the gyms in Germantown, North Philly. There are at least 10 to 15 fighters that you can say in the city of Philadelphia that can be in the top five in the contention of any weight division that they hold. Right, Out of right. all of them, who's I mean, most? even look at Brian Jennings. We yeah. got a heavyweight. Right. Absolutely. He didn't win a championship, but he didn't embarrass himself. Right, right. And the way the heavyweight championship thing is now, right. it's open for anybody. All the, all the up and comers, who's most likely to take your spot, to make it to that Just top heart. paramount level? Just your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Even more so than like a J Rock, not telling, not asking you to compare, but well, well, or the well, Danny's, like, well, yeah, or the Danny's. Well, I see Jesse Hart first, right? Because the, the level of, 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 of amateurs and, and, and the achievements that he been involved in, the pedigree that he has, and then everybody else under that, and Jesse only have a world belt, mm -hmm. right? Garcia is right there, right? Yeah. So. In a couple of years, right, Garcia got a chance to be that, like, actually in, embedded. Right, right. Right, embedded. Right, absolutely. But absolutely. that comes in time. Who's going to be that embedded fight? Who's going to take him to that paramount level out there right now? Well, first you got to get past these bumps, these, these bumps on the road right now. Right. right. Because if anybody can take you there, but how do you stay there? Right. You can get there one fight, but you gotta stay there to be able to get that history. Right. So when you get there, it's like a date. Mm -hmm. Right? Right, right. Then think about the logic of a date. You finally get the date that you wanted. Right. You didn't brush your teeth. Uh, and you're gonna tell her hi. Right, right, right. You right. blue, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I so so let's look at now opportunity. Right. So you get the opportunity to work your butt off to get in a position. And you get there and you don't win, you don't perform, controversy, non-controversy. That's, they are the moments where you have to seize it. And then once you build off that, then you become something of a dynasty. Then you become something of someone of saying he's, Bernard is the, the, the face or, Ken, uh, or, or, or Jesse Hart or J-Rock or, or Jennings. Jennings or Danny Garcia. There are multiple champions, region champions, world champions, but how you set yourself away from the champions becomes secondary now because right, of so right. many belts. Mm -hmm. So since champions are secondary now, right. it's a debate who in the division of four champions holding four belts <laughs> and four divisions, who the best is like a big argument in the barbershop. Right. But now when you separate yourself from the second place, which is, if you're a champion, you, you're really second place. Right. Because it's four in each division. Right. Now when you build off that, when you get that belt, defenses, who the quality of people you fight, who you fight, who right. you beat. Right. Now you take it and you separate yourself from the pack. Right. And that's what very few people did in history, but that's why they are history. Right. That's why they are history, historic, achieving people. Do you enjoy calling the fights on HBO? I enjoy not getting hit. Right. <laughs> right. But calling the fights to me is natural. Right. I don't look at myself being critical. I look at myself as educating the people at home because I can call the fights, but you're watching it. Even if you got a little bit of knowledge of boxing, I don't need to remind you at home that such and such through a right hand. Right. You've seen it. You're not right, right. You're watching TV. Mm -hmm. But if I can do something different that no other analyst, especially expert analyst that they call me, right. or color commentator, is actually teach you, teach you why you're watching the action.
connection. Right. Like, Absolutely. not only why the guy is throwing his right hand, but why he ain't throwing the left hook to get more out of the bank. Make that good investment. Right. Right now he's getting that one punch in, but he's not throwing the left hand and getting back on balance, and that's why he's falling when he throws the right hand. Man, I'm educating you. Now you're at home watching, like, wait a minute, he's right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like a genius, but right. I'm not. Right. <laughs> I'm just teaching you at home right. about the sweet science.